Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to share some lessons learned we had with multicolored thread. So should we get to it? Let's get to it. So this is our multicolored dye pattern thread. Yep, also known as variegated thread. All it is is a repeating pattern of different colors, and it can create some very unique designs in your embroidery projects. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some scrap fabric and test some Inkscape and ink stitch settings to see what we can do to get the best results with variegated thread. Absolutely. Let's get to it. Yep. First, we're going to create a new template. We're going to make it a 4x4 four four hoop template. We're going to create a circle. We'll do object to path to make sure it will work. Now we'll copy and paste it three times. Now I'll add commands to one of the circles. I'm going to do a ending position and a starting position so it won't have a break in the middle when embroidering. We went to params for this circle and we're going to get rid of the underlay. And we'll add commands. The same starting and ending position commands. For the next circle, we'll go back to params. And we'll get rid of the underlay and change the angle of lines of stitches. 45. Now we'll see what all the circles look like in simulator realistic preview. I also ended up making an adjustment to two of the strokes so you can see a smaller stroke compared to a thicker stroke with variegated thread. So now all we have to do is save our design. So now we can get to embroidering. So these are the results. Yeah, it turned out okay. So there are a few things, uh, lessons learned that we got out of this project. Uh, the first one, which is actually surprising to me, is that uh, the circles that we have with an underlay and without, there's really no visual difference. I can't really tell which ones have an underlay and which ones don't just by looking at them. But if you really inspect it, you could probably tell, but otherwise, if you just look at it, 
it doesn't really matter. Yeah. The second thing we learned is with this type of thread, and if you want to keep the right pattern, adding commands is actually crucial. You can see where the, where the uh, embroidery without the commands broke apart the uh, pattern here. So it joined right here in the middle on this one and, and right here. And it doesn't exactly follow the right pattern yeah. that it does on the ones with the commands, which is, mm -hmm. um, again, I think very crucial in getting, you know, if you're going for a patterned mm -hmm. look, you kind of want to look like a pattern, right? Yeah. And three, which goes without saying, the wider that you have your fill stitch in here, or the thicker that you have your stroke or satin stitch, the shorter each individual stripe will be because it will run out of material. Mm -hmm. So so these strokes are a little bit more stripey where these are a little bit more like flowy around right. these smaller ones. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.